So the Axbody team is the most popular strategy on Busan right now. I've seen Dotes being run a lot, and so is Goats. Do you think that's the strongest? Goats is always a popular choice, but I feel like here on the downtown area, I think it'll be a lot better if you actually run a... what do you call this? A sniper comp, and I just realized we don't have stream delay, so wait, give me a sec. Let's restart the stream. Omega Lul. Okay, there you go. So we should have stream delay up and ready to go. Gonna be three minutes as per scrim league rules. But anyway, gonna be MMK running a dive composition. And as I was saying, I like this here for the downtown area. So for MMK, they are gonna try to use the high ground. Use Calavitas on that with the maker to get some shots to connect. What MMK is trying to play around right here is the setup. They're trying to set up so they could be choosing the right targets you want to go for, and then initiating the dive attack. So what you see is Calamitas is having the high ground right, trying to get some poke shots in. Yeah, I like this right now. Calamitas still on the low ground for some reason. Gonna try to get the sidelines he needs. Dodge this now with IDK out in front. They're gonna go for the charge onto the point. Has to leap on up. Just way too much damage done here, as we do see a Zen Goat composition for the side of Team Southside. MMK has got to look for the opportunities to burn abilities before they go in. Like, oh, Dodge just makes a poor decision, goes in by himself and gets picked out yeah. by Still Mary right there. Yeah, Dodge is there getting taken down. But in the meantime, Dinks is looking to get a pick off or two. He's just trying now to get on out. Gonna translocate with Joran. On the other hand, still keeping on with the push, keeping on with IDK who's up on top. Now we have the Nana Boost ready here for Rebirth. So MK might be able to force something out. We do see the boost onto the Winston. And Dodge is now gonna lead the charge. Dinks with a takedown onto the Reinhardt, MMK trying to focus on the target and self destruct is there from IDK. Gets absolutely nothing. And it's gonna be a soft reset here for the side of self side. They are gonna be backing on that just a little bit as we have Rock 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 still staying on, on that baby diva. Interesting though, right there with that. Uh, red team actually had the out advantage to hold the fight, but they seem to have split up and then conceded the fight as a result of it. Yeah. But good but good on MMK right there to use the nano monkey as an initiation tool right there. Force their way into the back lines itself. So for Southside right now, they have a number of ultimates coming online. All their support loads are should be ready. Manipulated now. Gonna pop the rally pretty early. So Southside trying to get the numbers advantage. Trying to get the armor advantage. But no Calamitas now. Gonna burst through it. Gonna get a Doomfist hit onto Manipulated. Soundbar here from Joran. And we see MMK struggling against the Graviton Surge. To have fallen here for the side of the defense. Dodge is forced to use the Primal Rage. We have the Reinhardt now of Oak. Gonna go for the charge onto the point. And we see MMK still struggling to keep the contest going. Dodge is forced to back on out. IDK really low, doesn't want to lose the mech, and this is gonna be MMK gonna lose out on the point again. Good, good note. A good note of that was that I, IDK actually spent most of the fight actually protecting his Ana right there, so his Ana could heal and you know, just shot some damage there. Good work on IDK on the pigs. Yeah, looks like he does know what to do as Calamitous now looking to try and get a solo tag. Shatter there, honestly, cancelled out by the Winston Bubble and IDK now gonna get to. Here comes the charge and focusing far out the manipulated at the heal in full effect. Transcendence cannot do anything. And now dodge this, just piling on to the support line. We have Rakasi gonna force uh, to win the self destruct. He's gonna try to get a tag and gets the bag on to dodge this. Now, without the Winston, MK will have no shield, but will it be a detriment here as we have Oak switching over? to that Winston. It's gonna be self side now switching over to a full dive comp position and we might see a mirror comp in in essence. Rock has now gonna get the mech. Dinx on the other hand charging up that EMP forced to translocate on out. Jor now fragging Silmarie and MMK looking in form here on this point. Do you think the dive comp switch here for self side was wise here? I think I think that's actually a great decision because they get on, they managed to get on point faster. As a result they managed to start with an extra 20% on the point. So I think it was a worth swap because MMK is running an anti goats comp, so this swap allows them to come back the next fight with an advantage as well, in terms of compositions. Yeah, so we'll see right now if the Tracer and the Doomfist can get past the lines. Manipulate should not get halved up by the Zobra, unless he wants to be manipulated himself. But Dodge is now is focused on Calamus, though, up on top, gets the punch. Self destruct is there as well. Will it be enough? Yes, it does! IDK gonna get to a duo kill again here for this. Ziva and Rakasi getting staggered right now. Looks like everyone's dancing around the model here on Busan. This is guaranteed to bring MMK to 85% on the point right there. That leaves Red Team a very, very small slim, a very, very small time frame to get back onto the point itself. 
And we have Southside now switching over to a really standard dive here. Gonna be soap on that Genji. Interesting enough, he's looking at the wall. So we might see a disconnect. What's happening here for Team Southside? They look like they had the form. But MK just switching over to something more comfortable. Going on that Sombra Doomfist. And there's been such a difference maker here with the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. MK now gonna reach on to the point. Thanks to the takedown on the soap. Rakasi in dire straits. There's the anti heal. Sambire pop by Jaron as well. And it's gonna be Dodge is now putting on the pressure. Wants to go for the Ana. There's the wake up call. And Galam is gonna get the punch. Train to Basan there for Silmarie. And it's gonna be the Winston now getting punched around. IDK gonna get that takedown. Joa on the point. Trying to stay alive. Sambire onto himself and one. But this is gonna be a tough time here. Unless Rakasi can go for the Hail Mary play with the self destruct. No, the Bire in complete position. Manipulated now. Ready with the post bomb. Gonna stick it on to the stairway. And we'll get absolutely nothing. South side here. Struggling right now. Losing to so far. So far, so good here for MMK. As we do see the Diva D Mech and the Winston way too far off. MMK can take the first point of this the shouldn't have taken. This shouldn't have taken so long for MMK, right? They had the numbers advantage, the out advantage. But they took a long time to focus on targets. And especially they missed out on Lucio having some barrier right there, which is crucial. Yeah, unfortunate there for the side of Cell side. I feel like the swaps were right, but just not at the right times. Seeing a Genji swap that late means that your Dragon Blade will not be online anytime soon. And with the composition there from MMK, it'll be hard to farm up on these more mobile tanks. So we'll see now a compositional switch here for both sides. Interesting, MMK deciding to go for CQC with that Reinhardt Zarya. And we have the Briggs, so gonna be a Zen Goat possibly. Calamitas gonna be switching over to that. Diva on the other hand, here we go, self side gonna have an ash in their lineup. Interesting though, with the tracer pick, right? I don't think tracer is gonna get much value on this since uh, MMK is playing and they're gonna be holding pretty tight. Yeah. Uh, the Brigitte there for things should be the bane here for Soap. Good anti heal though coming on out from Joa and manipulated of course in the backline hiding behind the shield. But Discord Orb now in full effect. MK trying to just go for the reach, trying to go for the kills. They want to go for the push right now and Soap on the other hand actually gonna assassinate Rebirth. So MMK should work on peeling for the backline instead of trying to do this. Soap actually uncontested here and the Tracer out against all odds able to get two. Great play by Southside right there to bait out, M uh, bait out MMK's ability and especially waste their time like hiding it backwards, alright? So it's gonna be MMK now forced to back on out. A number of ults here ready for the side of Cell Side. Nana Boost and the Pulse Bomb are ready, willing and able. But MMK already on the attack. Want to go for the points, get poops around, dodge this. Forced to go behind the barriers and try to stay alive. Dynamite eat it up. And there's a sound barrier here from Joran. MMK gonna go for the push. Captain Surge sucking in four. And things look good here for MMK. Good sound barrier though. And then Nana Boost auto dilution to keep him alive. Will it be worth it for the side of Cell Side? Things look dire here as the Tracer and the the mobile character is still sifting onto the point, and this is MMK's to win. Questionable decision by MMK, right? To commit the transcend. I don't think the transcendence was needed. Ducks, what do you think about it? Yeah, I feel like it was a little bit overkill. I think MMK tried to play it a little too safe, so they went for the trans, hoping, bleeding that don't, they don't get taken down by something like a shatter. But with actually that trans coming out, that was self side deciding not to go for that fight any longer. A bob right now tossed out by manipulated, and it's gonna be focused fired on, and that's actually gonna get the distraction going. And soap gonna assassinate Calamitous in the back line. Self side still keeping on the pressure with the two prong attack dodge this on the corner trying to stay alive trying to keep the barrier health to a maximum idk on the other hand using his personal barrier to charge up his beam so for a goat's composition usually use your other barrier to keep your reinhardt alive but the self barrier is most or more or less to keep you alive and try to get you the weapon damage that you need mmk has to sift back to the point though and that tracer is so pesky Grab the search now coming on, not gonna suck in four. And it's gonna be a counter grab here from the side of IDK. MMK trying to play fire against fire. Rakasi being focused down, but good barrier play coming on out. Dodges up on top, really low. Gonna get meleeed and taken down. So now the Zarya and the Diva double off tank duty here on to the point. IDK dancing around. We have Soap really low. Kalam is actually fragging out there. And Rebirth is getting in position to go for that transcendence. Will it be enough here for MMK, Yuris? I don't think they have, to be honest. self is starting to back together, and they've got their Reinhardt on point right now. So the Reinhardt now trying to get back to the point, but Dodge is actually assassinating Joa. The Ana caught off guard, gets clocked by the hammer, manipulated on that hand, so forcing Rebirth to go for the trance. I feel like he could have just taken the death there, and now MMK without the transcendence will have to rely on that Sambire into the next fight. Interesting. 
Interesting note that was Southside actually had the advantage on the point. They were fighting a 3v2 fight, but they couldn't clean up as fast as they could. And MMK just came back with the tanks to yeah. sweep the fight itself. Both up now Good barrier there by good IDK barrier. to soak out the pulse bomb. Yeah, without the shatter nice. coming And we see a sound barrier here from Joran. MMK scattering out on the point. Gonna get two so far. This looks like we have MMK taking control as Cellside has lost half of their team. Self destruct coming out from Calamitous. Gonna be a glory bomb. Gets absolutely nothing. Manipulate now. Gonna whip out the Dragon Strike. Taking care of the Lucio, but no Revert is there. If he can't get good chances, he can get good frags. And Revert now gonna take two. Looking to get the kill onto the Tracer, but Soap, of course, so solid on that. But it's too late now. Self side gonna lose out. MMK taking that one 2 0. Interesting note though, Self side had tons of opportunities to close out the close out the mech base, but they missed it. They played it wrongly most of the time. Go ahead. Uh, what, what was I, I, the yeah. biggest thing? What was the I, biggest I, deal? Uh, what happened to mm. self side? Because I feel like they really had the proper position. They had the numbers advantage, but they were just weren't able to just finish strong. So what could have self side done I, better? I think they didn't commit to their original strategy of kiting MMK bad, you know, making MMK burn abilities while shredding their Reinhardt shield. Play like, you know, unorthodox strategies that maybe nobody has seen before, you know? Yeah, maybe something to try for the open division, maybe something to figure out. Lots of ledges, lots of high ground, lots of openings here in Hanamura, but these openings are quite funnily, so the defense usually having an advantage in CQC fights. We'll see right now if MK can go for the full hold, or will we have self sight just run through them and get a two-minute cap? That'd be very interesting to see, and to confirm, yes, uh, Hanamura is one of the open division maps alongside Volskaya Industries. So this map will right now chosen by these two teams. Very, very dependent on what they have to play in the open division. Hmm, one thing to note about self sex composition, right? They like straight up frontal damage. A lot of it is chip damage, poke damage from afar from the Genji and the Sombra itself. So they look like, looks like they're going to be betting on their Ryan and Zara to make some plays for them, you know? I feel oh, so too. And now, am I getting to be it? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think that Tracer is gonna be sticking because he used all his blinks. And as you were saying, will we have a Sombra and a Genji? These two characters, very strong DPS, when they have their ultimates ready. So it might be up to the tank line to just go for the pokes, just go for uh, a few swings here and there. And we have some chips to get the ult charge for the side of Southside. But Kalan's already starting things off strong with that takedown on the soap. And Dick's now playing the May. MMK just gonna have a little fun with the gate and try to make this work. Now we have the Ice Wall and Silmer gonna get taken down interesting path chosen by the Lucia there to try and get out oh it looks like it looks like Joe is actually 30% ahead of Nano Boost charge in compared to Rebuff right here so self side could actually be looking to use the Nano Ryan as a way of engagement in this fight yeah, this will be such a big distraction, but it's gonna be a tough task for them to actually burst through this. Especially if things is ready with the ice wall. Look at that, the Reinhardt isolated, gonna get taken down. Poor Oak, cut before his time. MK trying to go for the siege and just a little slow push there outside. Trying to go for some pokes, doesn't want to overextend, doesn't want to get uh, numbers disadvantage into the next fight. MK looks like they've got this in the bag, right? They're coming up with four outs right now. It's definitely, if they cycle their outs, it's probably be like, you know, three to four fights in their favor, right? Whoa, Ooh. good picks by Calamitous right there to get three. <laughs> Calamitous yeah, there getting it. got him towards the end. Yeah, so actually diving on in, and that was very brave from the Genji making that one work. It's just absolutely stuck as IDK and Dinks now just in the front line. Dodge is hiding by the corner, doesn't want to get hacked up easily. Dinks now is the one who gets hacked up, preventing the ice wall. Focus fire, we're grabbing the surge into a dragon strike. Where's the dragon strike gonna come from? All oh, the way from spawn, very long distance there, traveled by the dragon. So MMK only gonna get a one for one trade. They lost Redux though, so without the break, there is gonna be no stun behind the barrier mk has to rely on the ice wall and has to take care of where manipulated is gonna position himself so self side now looking to go for the push on in grab the stage there and oh calamity is gonna get the snipe out of nowhere rock the sea frozen up as well and yuri that was such a good shot there from calamitous a great shot by calamitous right there. but let's not forget the fact that mmk actually is quite a weird out combination instead of you know grab nano right they actually grab it try to throw a dragon from spawn right there a huge reach by mmk it could have gone south very quickly but thank god they got the picks in five. Yeah, look at this counterplay though by Calamitous. Good grab there from the side 
of self side rock as he trying to make it work but now we do have mmk looking to get in position again on their defense we, on the other hand, Oak really low in terms of the barrier and Manipulant actually getting on by. So now Dodges is hammering away at the whole architecture here. They spot them out and Manipulant forced to translocate. So Southside gonna be wasting a little more time. As well as there, will it be enough? He has to go for the EFP up on top. Blizzard though coming on at Sound Barrier lands. But still Murray is frozen up. Gen Dix get the takedown. Good pocket play coming on out from Joe, but it's not enough. Nana Boost now going the way of the Reinhardt. Shatter connecting on the Manipulated. And this is MK just going for these stacks one by one a little messy in terms of the execution but looks like they are executing well in terms of those kills as mmk now gonna defend this again forcing hanzo switch here to manipulate it just look at how much space dings bought just by playing me and standing on high ground south side actually wasted a good 30 seconds standing HO, wondering if they could come in or not and I love the ice wall there. It forced Manipulated to go for the translocate EMP instead of being able to translocate at his whim. So MMK just wasting another resource there against the Sombra. Ice wall now ready and primed here for the side of MMK. Can things make this work? Dodge is gonna go for a swipe and Oak is out in front. Gravity Surge is there, however. Counter grab! And this time the dragon is a lot closer and it gets a take out the Zara. Good staggers here. And MMK gonna be on the prowl. Soap knows this is gonna be a last ditch effort and he's gonna try hit to Ninja his way to the backline, but no, Calamitas again, just the homeowner here, the master of the Shimada clan. He gets hit, up down, but MMK can be able to defend this. A full hold here for MMK. Well played by MMK, right? Especially on the May pick. I think Dings just was so patient with, her, with his walls. That's why Southside was so afraid to push into choke, you know, in case their rank got isolated or some of guys, they would be delayed right away. Yeah, and I like the May pick nowadays. It has a number of bops going its way. Uh, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the May, the left click now pierces. The right click has no damage fall off. It's easier to see the Blizzard as well. So, and the Ice Wall has a new visual. So, a lot of QOL and just making May a more stable pick. Well, it's not really meta in every map. Maps like this, Hanamura, maps like King's Row, or anywhere you can actually use the Ice Wall to fruition. Gonna be a good potential pick. Especially on point A of this map. So yeah, Yuri's uh, going to be a good defense there from MMK. What do you think they're going to be up to into the next one? Hmm. I think I, I think Southside itself might be picking, you know, oh, look at their composition. They're actually running out of a Torbjorn Maker. They're trying to play a zoning composition right here. You know, give MMK some space and then they're going to get picks that he... I'm really so pursued. interesting, right? I, I, I'm, in, I'm interested to see what MMK chooses to run at the attack. They're going with a traditional... Goodscom, they probably be needing a Lucio to speed through the choke itself, you know. Yeah, I feel so too. Things on this main right now seems counterintuitive, but you can use the May for cover. You can go for the other kind of ice wall. You just flip it over and just get in the way. So if MK is actually trying to experiment with the May without a Lucio, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. I feel like it's Evanana. They should have a Lucio instead to get their teammates in position. So yeah, MMK, I'm gonna. Yeah, they're gonna run this. Okay, that's I'm interested. That's actually interesting to see. Alright, actually you no know, Southside just go went with their pocket tracer pick, tracer widow right now. Com complete comfort here for the side of Southside. And an ice wall now to allow them to funnel inside to the house. Okay. So MMK knows they're slow. So you're gonna decide, okay, we are gonna take the high ground. We are slowly but surely gonna get to the top part and slowly but surely take care of everyone. So Dodge is now putting up the barriers. No one gets sniped. Manipulated, of course, has to relocate. And now just going to this home tour with MMK. IDK down below. Soap now being peeled. Look at Redux just gonna be in the flank. Just gonna be on that defensive. And now MMK, after a minute, their long exodus is over. They are ready to siege the uh, point. Looks like Dodge just actually disconnected. Look at Dodge. Just right. He's walking straight into a and not moving right there. Yeah, yeah it looks so like they're calling for a boss. Yeah, so yeah, do boss but Dodge, this is the lobby owner now and manipulated, able to take advantage, gets rid of Rebirth, gets to the two, make that three. The Reinhardt needs to be the one who pauses the game, but he gets disconnected. MMK still getting staggered and they're looking to get a pick off at no soap, just gets the Gatling guns going on. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff here from soap. He's been cleaning up MMK since the start of this match. Interesting choice right now by MMK to run a triple support lineup right here. Sticking with the main. I, I'm actually not liking this main pick on MMK side. You know, it's it's a bit too. It's not gonna do much for them. No damage output. 
What do you think about it, Docs? I think they're just trying to experiment right now to see if it'll work. They do have a little bit of time to actually waste due to the fact they just need to get one tick. So maybe just maybe trying to experiment with the map. Again, they're gonna go to the right hand side. This time they have a Lucio instead of a Brig. They know they need to be faster, and that's a problem when you leave your supports alone. Questionable movement there from Dodge this and Co. Could have actually saved Rebirth. And now, even though the Ana does have sightlines on the point, he has to hide away from that Widowmaker. So we'll see what MMK is gonna be up to. They look like they're just scrambling around right now, not knowing exactly what to do. No, they might be waiting on for Reaper to get in position before they go to go on that siege. MMK though up on top again. On the other hand, self side already ready to rotate. Sli Silmarine is out in the open here, and Soap trying to go for the flank. Here comes the engagements now. IDK looking to charge up his ultimate, but Soap already gonna take down out to Diggs, and this is already MMK losing out three members. An unfortunate attack. And I feel like they should just swap out whatever they were doing as of the moment. Questionable decision making. Like, we just caught it and it actually did happen. They went up high ground and they got themselves picked off, you know? Yeah, that's very sloppy here from MMK. Just really trying to make this main pick work. I, 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 I can't. Okay. Oh, no, Silmary! Caught on out! Looks like he oh wanted too God. much ramen there and he's gonna freeze to death instead. The worst kind of ramen is the cold, cold one. As MMK now gonna go for the push. Well, unless you like Soba, guys. Soba's nice. But he, and Redux now out in front. But grabbing the Surge is there! Pulse bomb! Pulse bomb there from Soba! No, doesn't get it. But by Vinay coming on out now from the side of MMK. Oh, grabbing the Surge onto that ice that. wall. And that was really good teamwork here from the side of MMK. Looks like their experiment is paying off with that Big big pick on the Silmary. What was the Zenyatta doing there? MMK now trying to ring the bell. Gonna get the hit onto that Lucio and the PH squad able to take that one one to zero. Questionable decision right there to actually overextend and get himself picked off. His team actually required him to throw spam and do the chip damage they needed. As... So that was a waste to run in my opinion. No, <laughs> I seem to have got it in baggy. Yeah, I, I see so too. Silmary, what are you doing, my friend? Just just the noodle shop, I think they deliver because you're just across the street. But look at that, MMK! That shot there on the soap. And Calamitous knowing where exactly he would land. Sonic Arrow actually to get that takedown. We are going to be moving on to a. So what can we be expecting from MMK right here? I think King's Row is one of MMK's, you know, start like one of the maps they've played a lot in. What can we be looking for, Ducks? I feel like everyone plays on M on MMK play on King's Row all the time, to say the least. And I'm expecting your standard stuff. Back in the day when Dive was prevalent, Reinhardt was king here on this map, and this is gonna be holding true with this the meta as of the moment. So yeah, King's Row gonna be. An interesting fight for these two teams. I feel like the Hammer Bros are gonna be upon us. Maybe a Brigitte in the back line. Goats might be very strong, but Double Sniper very strong as well. Farah Mercy, such a potent pink. And don't forget, third point, the, the Diva Bomb stomping ground. Such a good map to actually be playing on. I, I think Manipulator is definitely gonna stick with his Widowmaker. His Widowmaker has been performing great tonight against MMK. And this is a great Widowmaker map. All across the three points itself. So let's see if Manipulator sticks on the Widowmaker. He has been showing that he can get the frags when they need. There was a point where he got three kills on that Widowmaker. He got three kills on the Hanzo as well. So Southside can rely on their DPS in this fight. They have gotten substitution. Alon fills in for the side of Southside. On the other hand, we have Joran in for things for MMK. So that's a few rotations. A good opportunity for all their players to get some practice. Just to note though, King's Row not in the open division. The hybrid map picks are Blizzard World and Numbani. So this might be a little more for fun, a little more of just mechanical skill and uh, basic strategies to run down for both teams instead of something map specific. So let's go into the fight. Dodge is going to be on that Reinhardt and let's see what these two teams are going to be up to. Yeah, anyway, let's get into this one. We do see MMK holding behind the hotel, behind the statue. Very, very backward part there, used, utilized by MMK. Allowing Oak to actually march onto the point. They are going to slowly contest, and Redux is looking for the opportunity to get the stun. They get to the take out the IDK, but a huge at the heal there. Alan fills now, able to just go for the cuts, and this is Southside able to run them down. Just Joe out of nowhere, making the grenade count, and Southside looking to get these kills. They are going to be able to get the first count. Capture. Holy sh that was that was a huge questionable decision making by the side of MMK right there, you know. 
to actually give up give up ground there quickly, not contest at all and choke. Wow. Uh, MMK right now looks like Southside and MMK having a few words with each other. But yeah, Joa! Complete MVP there on that first point. MVP at the same time giving way too much ground. If they have a Brigitte in the comp, I feel like they can actually contest the first part of the first point. Instead of give them all that space, manipulated, able to grapple on to the other high ground. Now uh, Calamity still gonna snipe him down and dodge this is out in the front. So MMP can decide to hold the archway. Gonna be a narrow, narrow defense here for the PH squad. This game is basically a matchup between manipulator and Calamity. See who gets the most pick, you know, carrying the team. Allowing them to push far, so far. So in a matchup like this, if for that was you, you playing that DPS, would you actually favor a Widowmaker or a Hanzo? Because these two heroes very different in terms of their uh, projectile versus hits can kind of deal. So what what do you think? Yuri? This is this has always been a Hanzo favor matchup because uh, Hanzo is oh, before we go on, look at the blade. Huge yeah. blade right. Wait, what happened? Is it Nano Lucio? Uh, oh, this is actually a Lucio that happens yeah. right there. Unfortunate there for South Side. We see both the Lucio and the Genji jump in the fray, in the fray, but we were on Allen Fields and he got the kill on one. Dragon Blade now, Graviton Surge rather from IDK. Gonna be a little questionable because it was at the tail end of the fight. Pretty ambitious there because he had a lot of energy. MK though gonna be able to reset and still contest that second checkpoint. MMK is gonna come into this fight with Shadow and Dragons right here. Let's see if they could set up the Shadow Ender during the connect. I think it's gonna be a pretty hard move for Assume Mary is 20% his Storm Barrier itself. Let's see if he can get it in time to yeah, counter. So Mary gonna be a focal point of the offense in terms of their defensive capabilities. Oh yeah, uh, Jaron and Redux staying on. Grab the surge out of nowhere. Will it be enough? They get two so far. Dodge this focus down. Not getting taken down, however. And Jaron now being booked around. Shatter is gonna be used up by Oak. Dodge gets the stun onto the opposing Reinhardt. But look at this. Manipulated now in position. Getting to self side. Gonna be completely self made. And they are gonna be able to get that second checkpoint. MMP, MMK has been getting really impatient with out combinations, right? They're not taking time to set up anything, they're just trying to use their outs as openers, which isn't a good idea, you know? Considering yeah. considering how self side is playing, self side is playing right now. Yeah, they really need to be able to set things up and go for the contest on to manipulated. Calamity is now just hopping around on that Genji, switching over. He does have the time to try and charge it, and a sound back here from Joran pretty early. So we will see MMK try to go for the attack on their defense, even a rally right now. And this is going to be MMK just hesitating so much, double. Stuns coming on out to the Reinhardts, and now it's a nano break out in front. Can Redux actually get some frags? No, MMK just struggling to find the impact that they need. Wasting ultimates left, right, and center. Three of their ultimates not really used at the proper time. And self side gonna be able to take the win in that fight. The third checkpoint close, but not quite here yet for self side. Will MMK be able to contest it one more time? It seems like MMK's biggest problem right now is they have the, all the resources in the world, but they just don't know how to play the goods right. It's also like we have a graphic search now coming on now as two have fallen for the side of MMK. This is gonna be complete snowball effect in full force. IDK gonna get dropped and MMK gonna give up King's Row with almost four minutes on the time bank. As you were saying, it's just a situation where they had everything in the bag but they just didn't prop it at the right time. It's like when you give your Christmas gift on Valentine's, if you pop your fireworks on Halloween, just MMK could have but didn't. Like, throughout all three points, MMK just seemed to not know what, what was the win condition for Goats right there. On the first point, you could clearly that he gave out ground very quickly, and that's why the Widow had so much, so much position on them. The Yananic connector that got them the win, that got self side the win. And then on Street's phase itself, MMK tried to rush it and go for the Dragon, instead of going for the Shadow Dragon play, that would guarantee them the cleanup, you know, to yeah. hold the point itself. So, odd decisions by MMK really on Goats itself. I think it's more of MMK screwing it up than Southside playing it extremely well this time, in my honest opinion. Yeah, don't, don't count out Southside, they played that third point fight very well due to the fact they saw an early soundbar, they saw an early rally, they saw a nano boost onto a Brigitte when the Reinhardt was already dead and they knew they could take it slow so if Southside actually fell for it, you know, 
if they actually charged on in, that would have been their demise. But instead, they backed off using the space they've been giving. They had the spawn advantage because the second spawn a lot closer in that first part. And kudos to the Thai squad for having a little bit more of discipline here on King's Row compared to MMK. So Southside right now in control. MMK has to replicate the success that Southside has done. But that is no easy task, especially with a squad who doesn't want to lay over and just take it. Compliments to Roxy. Roxy won self side the, the second point all to themselves with the grab play right there to clean up the fight. I agree, I agree, I agree. And Joa, of course, on that first point, very, very st stellar plays coming out from two. Alan Phil's gonna be a. Gee, he was pretty scary on that Genji in terms of his potential. Just not able to execute too much, but now MMK gonna run, try to run them over, but instead gonna be roadkill there as manipulated. Gonna take down Redux. Calamitous, on the other hand, in the back line, gets a kit rid of Diana and gets a swipe onto Oak. So MMK gonna get the two for two trade. Manipulated though, perfect headshot onto the charging Genji and Rebirth now gonna toss out that fire grenade. MMK staying on to the point. They have the superior tank line right now as IDK has 100 energy. Two fix though going the way of south side and MMK just losing oh, out for the time being. MMK could be getting a free take on the point. What are they doing? What are they not standing on the point itself? Oh, uh, they get one take now? Yeah, they do get and one And they should probably be giving up this fight right here. South side obviously had the numbers advantage and the resource advantage right Dodge just better be getting himself out of there. Yes, no. Dodge is now oh. trying to go for the duel again And they get rid of Silmarie So the assassination in the backline Killing the Zenyatta MMK now looking to go for the push And now the Nano Ryan's gonna go for the duel Shatter connecting but a good grab from IDK Before he gets stunned up Allows them to keep the distance on Only Joran will fall But here comes Rakasi again Huge graviton surge from self side And that's gonna be a wipe There was definitely a questionable decision right there Dodge just didn't have his entire team behind backing him up And he... Went for the play itself. I I think I think one of the weirdest play was early, uh, earlier, right? MK actually had the numbers invitation and everything. They didn't have to push into hotel itself to get the remaining few picks. They could have stayed on point with the hundred energy Zara no and get like two free ticks of it. I so questionable agree. decisions coming out of MMK's end right here. I completely they agree, be dude. That's it's they could have been playing objective instead of trying to go for the PKs, but they do want to secure the team wipe before getting that first point. Will it be enough here for MMK? Will they be able to be do it? No, Alan Fizz already just running on and gets stunned up, but no, the blade is thirsty here for some blood and wants the blood of MMK. They get five already. Calamitous versus Alan Fizz here, but he's gonna be so alone as Callum gets that takedown. MMK now trying to regroup without that Genji for the next five to eight seconds here. They do have a small number advantage but MMK needs to be quick needs to be hasty and needs to be deadly they should be a, MMK should be setting their Genji out for the huge nano blade that's actually gonna come cause I cause the nano blade is gonna slice through oh Ooh. huge shadow right there by Oak to actually get the Reinhardt and Genji in the backlight right there yeah, a little sloppy again from MMK. Didn't get the shield up in time from the side of Dodge. This for both the Shatter and even the pick onto Rebirth. So Rebirth, they're gonna get clock. We now have Redux switching over to a. Uh, okay, he went to the Tracer, went back to the Brig. Uh, honestly, wasting some bolt charge there for the side of MK. So we'll see right now another push here from the side of MMK. This is very ambitious and very hasty. Will it be enough? The second thing already being taken. Sambire in response to that trance. And now Kalam wins. With the Nano Blade into the back line with that early chance. This gives Kala one swipe to just get those two kills. The two tanks though still staying on. And Rakasi, high energy, low H3, gonna get taken down. Could have gone for the grab there, but wasn't able to. Too ambitious there. And MMK gonna get that first checkpoint. What is going on right there? This game just seems like Callum carrying MMK on his own back right there with the Nano Blade itself. Dodge just has got to be playing at the most slowly. He's been dying every single time he spawns on the first point itself. It's making it really hard for his team to survive behind him. Okay, IDK right now, Graviton Surge available and MK trying to take the high ground but manipulated already to throw a wrench in those plans as the Infrasight will give out all the information in the whole map. Manipulate now with the takedown onto Calamitous, gonna rotate here by the bar, looking for another target, spots out the support line, doesn't get it for the time being, and let's stay on this Widowmaker, maybe he can get a frag for the time being, Redux of course, with that small shield, IDK on the left hand side, dodges now with the shatter, and gets absolutely nothing, Oak, no, Oak LNW, again, perfect shield play, has been as sturdy as a tree here for the side of Southside. I think that's the problem I've been talking about this entire map. Like, MMK just trying to get things done, you know, not taking their time, not setting up for their right hat to get nice shadows in. 
not playing the outs and the right order itself. I think that would have been better if IDK had actually went for the grab instead of forcing the shadow from dodge this itself. Maybe a little setup here goes a long way for MMK, but looks like they just want to skip step one and two. Go for step three immediately. This time they go for the grab. Focus fire off the Joa. The on again taken down. And Silmarie actually left alone with one HP. Will that bite MMK in the butt, butt later? As here comes Alan Fills. Grab into the Dragon Blade. And Southside make it happen. Sleep Dart coming on out. And yes, Southside able to defend that one. MK just not finishing up on what they plan to do. Completely, completely messy here from the PH squad right now. And this time, it looks like Southside having the advantage. They have formed their structure. They have formed their chemistry here. And I like to swap onto the Ash because they know they have to be a little closer. The Dynamite can be a huge factor in these corners. On the other hand, Calamus now ready, close to getting ready rather with the Blade. Rebirth close to that Nana Boost as well. And MMK gonna go for the Bread and Butter. Rely on Callum to do everything. But no, Raha Ashley gonna get that takedown. And Southside. Now gonna go for the push on in again Dodge this, force the back on out Without their Genji, without their star, without their DPS Let's see if MMK can actually get the flip in this fight MMK should just play patient You know, wait, wait for the nano blade You know, not rush this again, you know Like the mistakes they were making before this MMK should be spotting this right Oak, Oak isn't with them They should be checking for Oh, even Oh, Oak oh. just goes out unpunished like that. Yeah, very questionable there from the side of MMK. Could have actually get tagged onto that Reinhardt. But anyway, Dragon Blade is out. And this time gets countered heavily by Southside. Very good counterplay because they knew exactly what MMK was going to go on. Alan Fils now with his own Nano Blade. But he gets stunned up. Good play there from Redux to get the boop. And it's just going to be a 2 for 1 trade. MMK now has the advantage. Trying to go for the push. 10 seconds remaining. It looks like the payload going to get the move that they need. Rakasi though has a lot of energy. And Jaren trying to get the punish done yes they do far strike connecting mk though close to that second checkpoint and the overtime is here will it be enough right now for the ph squad they leave the payload but redux does get it in time got a good pickup like the olympics here dodge this versus oak again the payload now moving close to the end but of course south side wants to do this one more time shire now connecting and mk looking like they're in form to get this one but manipulated has other plans gonna get that tracer on and gonna get the bubble from the side of rakasi but redux of course, gonna get an easy frag and the Brigitte there just leading the charge. MMK gets that second checkpoint. MMK is gonna come to the Nick fight with the Dragon Blade grab, which is definitely two, which is definitely one more out than what self side has, which is just the Graviton search itself right now. Yeah, but Joran, they're getting picked off at the start. MK forced to go for the slow push. They have to back on out a lot quicker because Silmary can go for that speed boost at any time. Calamitous now in the back line. Just gets healed up by the repair pack. Waiting on for Rebirth to get that Nana boost into the next fight. And now they're going to go for the grab Dragon Blade instead. Not going to wait on that Nana boost. It's going to be enough. Dodge is on the other hand. Very questionable charge. Going to drop on down and manipulate it. Blows up Calamitous. Allowing Southside to have a medium of a defensive position here for the last fight. Sounds like definitely gonna have the advantage here since the spawns are closer and their right hand has the right hand has the off shadow. So they could just come in and clean this fight up with a one quick off shadow. They are quick enough to realize that their right isn't back yet. They even have the grab dragon blade and there you go. There's the setup. Alan Phil's not wasting the blade yet. Just trying to go for the opportunity. And Oak with a good flank. Gonna get both the shield bearers down. Charge connecting. Alan Phil's now with a kill onto Calamitous. And Southside just keeping their ultimates in this fight. Very disciplined because they know that MK can just go for one more staggered push. But they are slowing down the approach. They do get a takedown onto Rebirth and dodge this at the latter half. So for MMK, they won't have the Ryan in this initial. Volley Jaren will be on that Lucia tried to wall right to the other side needs to make it Oh, it's calamitous instead and in the meantime Alan feels now Nano blades is up and about looking to get another takedown questionable decision making there for both sides And that's a c9 there from the side of MMK self side gonna take that one Well played by self side right They're constantly beating MMK to, fo to fully commit and then counter engaging on the Smart plays, smart plays really Ah, a little ring around the Rosie play there at the end from Alan Fields and Calamitous. I, I wonder what was going on in the minds of MRK there, especially with the Nano Blade out in front. Just not able to get to the point. Everyone just scampering around like mice. And unfortunately, therefore, the PH squad, they will take a loss here. The first one in this matchup. So they will be able to get to pick map number. Hammond picks, you know, Route 66. Route 66 is actually a great map for Wrecking Ball itself.
And I think I've been seeing a lot of, a lot of higher tier teams be picking up Wrecking Ball in this map because the first point is absolutely amazing. Dude. Good sidelines, good grapple hook spots. More importantly, there's like clean escapes for you as a Hammond player. Can we be expecting that from both teams? We'll see right now. I feel like MMK is thinking about it, but they're gonna go for the more standard dive instead. Dive composition pretty strong on Route 66 as well, because there's no real easy way to get to the higher ground. You have to go around the rocks. You need to go around the, you know, around the buildings to try and get to the other side and climb those stairs. So I like this pick here still from MMK and we have a Sombra here for Redux on that first point. Very, very strong to keep control of the gas station med pack and the tunnel med pack. Besides that, can just skulk around, look for an assassination or two. As you were saying all that, Wrecking Ball, I completely agree. Wrecking Ball really good on this map, especially as the map itself, the geometry of the map allows the Wrecking Ball some source safe spaces to actually get on out and get healed. But anyway, we're gonna be into the game, MK, running the Sombra. On the other hand, we have a double sniper comp here for Southside. Alright, so MK, MK should be looking at the compositions Southside is running before committing to anything, right? Simmery no. actually isn't getting punished for standing on high ground by him. Odd decision by MK not punishing Simmery for sitting on high ground by herself. Yeah, I Unreal. think they were just a little afraid to actually charge on in. Now Calamus focus down, gonna get taken down. On the other hand, Redux still can't go for the desperation kill onto that Anna gonna translocate away. But now with MMK, oh the boop! Will it be enough to get a kill onto Alan Pills? Yes it is, Joran gonna get that one. But yeah, as we're saying, MMK just waiting too long and wasn't able to execute properly. The Sombra not able to get the kill onto the Anna, forced dodge this to just go for the dive, gets punished without the jump jets. And as you were saying, just a little too much uh, pass to play there from MMK could have gotten the kill instead and now Redux switching again from one hero to the other gonna be on the Sombra without any EMP charge very questionable decision making here for MMK I think MMK just has to regroup right now you know choose to dive on the Anna right there she's taking the high ground by herself right now yeah, wait what, what's Redux doing Redux just actually ran around and did, and did nothing could he be yeah. picking up yeah uh, yeah, you, you got juke. Right there. You got juke right there. And I'm manipulating, just out shooting, out gunning calamitous. But we have a snipe now from Rebirth. He's trying to get the takedown. Oak on the other hand, on to the point. Self to is there from the side of IDK. Good zone, but gets absolutely nothing. And now the double sniper composition doing its duty. Able to get those kills from the high ground and even the low ground. The first checkpoint taken easily here by the Thai squad. And things are tough here for MMK. I think MMK. It's really, really just, just get it. It's not being patient enough to commit to the setup. And I think the Sombra have space at the side. And like tell the team where, where Southside is playing. I think their DPS is fun. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see right now if it's gonna be enough. It's gonna be a little bit of a tough task, however, now as we do see. Calamitous gonna get that first pick off onto Alan Phil. So self side gonna be on a little more cautious approach, especially with that Widowmaker running around. Yo, oh, Calamitous gonna get that shot onto Manipulated as he's in the air. Come now, gonna get two more. And that's just half of the team of self side. Again, MMK able to just rely on their DPS, get those takedowns, and that's gonna be a successful defense. Ooh, good shot. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, questionable decision right there for Calamitous to put extended pick. Oh, also, MMK not uh, telling their Widowmaker that they're gonna back on out, just allowing their Widow to be isolated. Just, uh, communication is a two-way street, guys. And for MMK, if they're gonna rely on Calamitous like that, they sh should be sure to protect the guy. But anyway, we do see a contest now here on the second point, halfway through it. Dodge just is keeping the zaps on, trying to find a new power, uh, trying to new a power source with the Tesla Cannon. Grab the Surge is there, however, to put the two taps into place. Soundfire is thrown out, and we have a Dragon Strike as well. So much focus fire onto IDK and Dodge this. Self Destruct now coming on out. Gets absolutely right. No, never mind. The EMP is there to get to, and Calamitous gonna get the snipe on to manipulate it again. MMK make the combination happen. We've seen the EMP bomb before from the MK squad. And this time they execute to a T. I think, I think that was actually yeah, a great decision uh, by Southside. Southside looked like they were baiting. Actually. They didn't, they didn't commit most of the outs. MMK as a result committed five outs right there. Was or was it six? 
Including Clementus Wahex. Yeah, they used all their ultimates there. More or less forced out because they were in a tough spot. But now IDK gonna get the punish onto Alan Phil. So overextends to get rid of Calamitous. Trying to get him through the cavern. Sleep Dart though connecting now. And this is gonna be a close one here for MMK. They're gonna be up on top. Rally now pop here by Silmarie. And it's gonna still be MMK in control. No, never mind. Manipulate gets a snipe onto IDK. And look at Rock as he just going on that second floor. Hopping on in. Keeping the pressure on the Joran. And the Thai squad seed it. Just gonna try and get that takedown. Yes, they do. Auto Redux. They get that second checkpoint and have four minutes on the board here to get that third part. Amazing four minutes on the board right here from South Side. Look, they look like this. They're gonna go sweep this map clean. This is gonna be their map to win. It all depends though on how MK is gonna try to defend this third part. But looks like the momentum in favor of Southside, especially after that King's Row game. Jaren now switching over to the Brig, and we have a Junkrat here for Redux. Rebirth gonna be on that Ana. So this, this tells me when you have no more Lucian now for your composition, this is gonna be a lot slower in your part, a lot more stable ground in terms of and instead of actually trying to go for the siege. And Jaren here on the Brig, not really the most common pick for him, and manipulated, able to take advantage, gonna get three after the shatter. This has been a Firing rage here for the side of Southside. Ooh, Southside right there. Probably over committing on the nano. But at least the gonna get grabbed right. They're probably gonna use the grab to see out the, the final fight itself. Ooh, oh, nice pick by Manipulator get Oh, Calamitas get Manipulator back. Yeah, so this is gonna be pretty close though. But there's no one on the payload. Finally dodge this. Gonna go for the charge, but gets slapped out immediately. And gonna get taken down. Now Kalam is gonna get that mana boost, but gets clocked by the arrow. No one here for MMK close enough. And what looked like was gonna be a series for their taking has gone do all the way 180 here for MMK. They're now down again. Three points here for Southside with 239 on the clock. Not a bad time here for the Thai squad. I think I think that was that was a great it was just a great map from Southside right there. They just showed MMK how to how to play a ground comp with Reinhardt Zarya and how to set up space for your supports and your DPSs to do the work for you most of the time. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love how the that for Southside they have the tank line who can enable their DPS to actually get a byproduct of their efforts instead of what MK is doing right now, just relying on their DPS to no matter what, neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor any kind of weather condition or any condition for the matter to get those pickoffs for their side. It really goes to show the, I guess, the dependency for MMK right now compared to self side. They they just go as a unit instead of just trying to put it all on the shoulders of their DPS. So for MMK, they're going to decide to run the Wrecking Ball. Will this be a good switch here for the PH squad? Hmm. I, th I, th I think that, that might just be the thing they need. Because I don't think, I don't think uh, self sided is ready to fight an unorthodox strategy from MMK side since MMK has always been playing the meta stuff, you know. So men might just throw them off. I think Hammond just feeds how MMK plays, you know, it's a very dive, uh, individual DPS kind of playstyle, you know? Well, yeah. so for right now, instead of a 6v6, we might see a 1v1v1v1v1v1v6 kind of situation as MMK gonna decide to just try to out-mechanical their opponent and hopefully they can coordinate it with a combo or two with the Doomfist and the Wrecking Ball. So we'll see right now what they're gonna be up to as Redux is gonna be on that Widowmaker. MMK though has been no slouch in terms of flexing. They have shown a number of different heroes all throughout the series. So kudos to the MMK squad for, you know, trying all these new things trying to make all these things work sadly it hasn't worked out as well as it should have but a try is a try to say the least oh nice so. swing by dodge just right to initiate it goes for the huge slam gets four people on the slam itself nice swing by Clementus to get rock rock say right there dodge just gets manipulated it looks like mmk is ready to clean up the first point by itself gets a punch on oak is now on the low ground itself yeah and as and we were saying, that idk is actually going for the back line himself dodge just gets Huge knock on Zara and now he's just cleaning up the fight on the back line. Dylan Genji now 1v1 on cliffside itself. So as I was saying here, like 
MMK knows their combination in terms of executing it mechanically, and they do so. But sometimes as a unit, it has been a struggle, but look at that, just beautiful execution there from the Wrecking Ball and the Doomfist. Now, Kalong gonna try to overextend and maybe get a pick up, but he gets taken down instead. Luckily for him, the spawn point is close by, but this might put a wrench in the plans of MMK because they're not gonna be able to snowball anymore without their Doomfist in this fight. They have to slowly wait for the payload. Well, this is the best time, I guess, to actually get pick up like that. MMK could have actually gone through without that happening. Happening. Now Dodge this is in a bad spot, gets the mines just in time, Callum just hopping around again, and there's the roll on in, now the boost now going the way of manipulated, can Southside actually make this happen? A while ago we saw MMK tried this one, and this time Southside able to just keep the pressure on and make it work. Passively manipulated, not really getting any shots along the way, but just the presence of the Nano Widowmaker honestly putting MK on notice. I think there was a bit of a questionable decision right there from MK. Dodge just went in, then his team didn't follow up on the damage he did and the space he created. So the space was just immediately taken back by South Side, South Side himself. So Dodge is now sitting behind the uh, South Side right here. Looks like, look, looks like he wants to go for a pick on Joa right there? Yeah. Nah, he will be getting it. He's getting himself out of there quickly. Oh, Jordan actually with the chance. That's a little question. No, interesting there. Uh, I guess a little scared of Alan Fields who does have the blade. And while Dodge this was having such shenanigans in the back line, Redux actually taking care of two, but this time gets sniped up by manipulated. And it just goes to show that this is MMK just really trying to outmuscle their opponents. If uh, you can say that self side can bench like 150 mmk is benching at 200 right now trying to make it work trying to show off it has worked out from time to time but overall their push has been a lot slower than self side so now for self side if they're able to stabilize and get the rhythm going they might be able to take this one by the second checkpoint but now the mines just gonna be such a bane here putting a little bit of oh pressure there dodge this even taking down manipulated who just runs down the stairs slips on the mine gonna get taken down what? Why is MMK not focusing on the only character on the Balzari and then goes for the huge blade by Alone Fuse right to get 4? And this fight no, is in South Side's favor. Ooh, Joran though. Oh, interesting. Joran gets to pick on Alone Fuse. Yeah, so just a little mechanical skill again here from MMK. But in the scheme of things, teamwork makes a dream work. And this is South Side now showing the teamwork has been completely on point. On the other hand, we have MK now trying to run over the Zenyatta. Dodge is going by himself. Pile driver connecting. Just gets a little hop onto the Reinhardt. Charge doesn't hit. And oh, oh, where are you going, my friend? Gonna be all the way in the corner. So job done here by Dodge this. Calamitas trying to now go for the out muscle play. They get the takedown on the Silmary again. And if MMK doesn't have a semblance of order, they're not gonna allow Southside to do the same. Because Dodge is so disrupted. Calamitas gonna go for the meter strike. They do lose Rebirth right now. And it's gonna be a 2 for 2 trade. All up to Joran to keep the heals going, but there's a good charge there from Oak on to dodge this. Here comes the contest again onto the payload, and MK forced to retreat. Yeah, PH squad now. All this time, if you re all this time, you realize the MMK actually didn't push much, uh, didn't get much distance on the payload, so because they were also committed in taking the forward fight, they, they forgot about the payload thing in the court being behind them and around the corner. So, sorry. so again guys, just a quick little reminder, uh, Team Deathmatch is not a standard mode in Overwatch compared to something like Call of Duty. So MK might want to remember that into the next coming fight as it's gonna be a minute and 40 remaining here. Just they're using so much time and as I was saying, if Southside can keep the rhythm going and keep their position stable, they are gonna be able to win this one out by here. And they have been able to do so for the past two minutes. Charge now connecting onto dodges and another punish play onto the wrecking ball. MMK forced the back on out. Uh, this isn't working. This isn't working, your race. Because MMK now has just all the chaos that they're trying to do. On the, we do see so much order here from Southside. MMK just trying to bring their own brand of chaos that's not working. It's not gonna be a brand that Southside is gonna commit upon. As much as they are creating chaos, I think they themselves are in a big chaos in the backline. Look at it. Yeah, they don't protect Look their at support. Look the backline. is just buying so much space, just disrupting the support. 90k is ignoring traces in, the back, in his backline, like disrupting his supports right there from yeah. healing. 
Oh, they do get two kills, and as we're gonna say, with the dive composition DPS here from the side of Cell side, they can put the pressure on. But on the off chance that MK is actually gonna get the kills onto those two DPS or the tank line, they are gonna be able to get the push. So again, this relies on the fact that Rebirth and Joran, alongside Redux, need to get the kills onto the Genji and the Tracer. This time they do so, but they have used so much time here to try and do this. 30 seconds remaining, make that 22. As MK close to that second checkpoint, they are gonna drop Oak down. Here comes the Wrecking Ball now from Rakasi, and it's gonna be a Dragon Blade from Calamitous, but gets when met by the Transcendence, sprays the sun here from the side of Southside, and Alan Fields is gonna be alone right now as he takes down his counterpart, gets three with that Nana Blade, gets four so far, Southside now in complete control, and we are gonna get a draw in the series, overtime is popped, but no one near at all, MMK faltering in those last two mobs, and Southside cleaning up, 2-2 two -two is our final record as Southside go for a potential uh, you know, reverse sweep, even though they didn't win that kind of deal. But towards the end of it, it looks like Southside actually managed to pick up their way. Anyway. Two of the biggest comeback I've seen so far. Because MMQ was coming into the into the third bed with a hell lot of you know, advantage and traction. Yeah, man, just so much. Uh, I, I guess the Alan feels swap also just throwing a whole wrench in the plans of MMK. So unfortunately they're for the PH squad but they do not lose this one this time. They go for the draw. Not too shabby there. A good showing on Busan to say the least.